In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really good adjustment for tight offset tight end that is going to limit some of the main passing concepts that we're going to be seeing uh, from pretty much the meta setups that a lot of people are utilizing to have a really good offense out of this formation. Now, we're going to be in the dollar three two to show you these coverages. If you want to get access to my entire dollar three two updated defensive ebook, we've been dropping several different updates uh, in the Patreon this week. Make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only ten bucks to do so, and it gets you access to everything. It gets you access to all the ebooks all the updates to the ebooks as well as any new ebooks that we release while you are a member uh, of the patreon so make sure to sign up for that the link is down in the description below gonna go over a couple of key plays here the first one is gonna be um bench we got pa seams saint spot shake and then we'll also also go over um the post route from this playbook which is the saints in play i believe and then uh we can talk a little bit briefly about zero and trap so um and then we'll, we'll start with pa seams so Audibles for dollar, first and foremost. Um, really, I like to have cover three cloud in here. Uh, I think cover three cloud is one of the most versatile covers defenses in the game. Uh, also, really would recommend having uh, cover six show four, and I would recommend having cover four drop and spinner, of course. So these are some of the audibles that I would recommend for this formation. Real quick, um, coaching adjustments. Auto flip, we're going to turn off so that we can be in control pre-snap based off of which hash mark they are on then other than that we're going to be in base align and we're going to be in match and we're going to come out in db fire to every single play now again i said auto flip is going to be off so what we want to do is we want to call um let's say for example that we know that we're going to call cover through cloud we want to call cover through cloud with our cloud um our cloud flat corner which is the corner in the light blue zone not the corner in the three dark blue zones the corner in the light blue zone we want to call that with our corner, that corner to the short side of the field. So if the ball was on the right hash, we would call it just like it is. If the ball is on the left hash, then we would call it flipped uh, so that that player is over on that side. The same thing is true uh, for cover six. So it, cover six is a more of a match principle. So if we want our match coverage to play more like cover four quarters to the right, then we would want to flip this. If we want to play match quarters to the left, then we would flip it uh, just like that, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to show you the coverage. Uh, so again, we're going to be in DB Fire 2, and we're going to actually come out in it flipped so that our cover two side is going to be here on this left side. I'm gonna show you kind of a, a pretty neat principle on how you can cross apply it. So um, the principle is basically this, if I audible to cover six show two or show four, I apologize. And let's say that I uh, move these guys down and let's just say, for example, that I take this defender, Ted Hendricks, and let's just say I put him in a QB spy. Like I just, basically the point is I need to get the mid read off the field, but what you're gonna notice is this vertical hook defender on the left side against the setup like this right here, which is pretty popular from PA shot seams. This setup, they are going to match that corner route and they're gonna double team it. Now, it doesn't mean they're gonna stop it, as you can see right there, but we're gonna combine two concepts within one uh, to create a really versatile coverage defense against PA shot seams. So, as you can see right here, the vertical hook in a cover six defense, especially if there's no mid read, if number if both receivers go vertical this guy will match the inside receiver so you see he's able to match him there now you got you you might want to put a ko there maybe you want to put like a deep out zone knockout or something um especially if you know you're playing someone that's running this formation uh, but we're going to take this principle and cross apply it to cover three cloud so what you'll see with cover three cloud is in, instead of a vert hook this player over here is in a hook curl now there's no mid read on the field so there's no need to put anybody else in his own but we're just going to take that slot and we're going to put him in a vert hook and then uh what you're going to notice again we can kind of use her whoever we'll get to that in a second but what you'll notice with this is this vert hook will help kind of create a bracket on that outside uh at that outside corner and so if you take a look at this in replay what it does is it also kind of helps bracket this this out this deep route that is super powerful out of this formation so you see right here like he does have a step okay i'm not gonna lie he does have a step but this guy is deep out zone knockout he's coming over the top to be able to rally to uh this corner route so now the only route we really need to handle is how do we handle uh, this route right here? And I'll show you with a good free form as a good passer, uh, what you can do. So if you'll hang with me here. So again, I'm gonna bring this guy down in the box. I'm gonna bring both of these guys down. And then all we're doing is we're vert hooking that guy on the left side. So if they see that, they're gonna, if a good player is gonna know that vert hook's gonna match that another, other guy, and you can throw this kind of over the top, as you can see right there. And this is why PA shot seems is so hard, uh, in my opinion, to defend. So. 
there's two things we can do to make this really easy on ourselves. The first thing is to just back off the cloud flat on the left side. So we do that by manually selecting that corner and backing him off so that he goes uh, and he will get a little bit more depth. So what you'll see with that is if that's the case, now this throw is gonna get picked on the sideline. That corner route becomes much, much, much more difficult uh, to throw because we have the vert hook that is matching. Um, we have the vert hook that is matching over the top and then we have this guy backed off. And like I said, I love to bring these safeties down. I think they play so much better when you bring them in the box. Now that leaves us the right side of the screen and it leaves us a couple of other things that they might want to do. One of those things they might want to do is they might want to have a drag route. Um, maybe they do a concept like this. And I'm gonna to get to some of these other meta plays here in just a second. But what you'll notice now, watch this three rec. You'll see that the three rec will kind of pass that guy off. You don't have to cover the corner out the entire play. You just have to cover the corner out, number one, long enough for you to get a shed, or number two, long enough so that they can't throw it to the sideline. If he just sits on that sideline, it really doesn't matter. Um, he's not going to be able to do a lot of damage uh, to us. So, again, just press manually back off that cloud. Now, let's talk about some other concepts that people like to run out of this formation. And again, I'm going to uh, vert hook this player over here on the left side. Okay. So another setup that a lot of people like to run, especially if they know that you're playing in zone is they love to run this, this, uh, saints spot shape play, uh, where they can kind of try to attack in the seam. Maybe they put a corner route over here to the right, but essentially what you're going to notice with this is because you bring these safeties down, it's going to really deter them from throwing the ball into the seam. So you're going to be okay against St. Spot Shake. There's not a whole lot of areas um, that this play can just kill you. As you can see right here, obviously you're going to be using one of the two linebackers. And then, so you'll be able to, and, and my recommendation would be to use the, the, the uh, linebacker on the running back side. Um, but anyways, what you'll see right here is, I mean, where are they throwing this? There's really not much. Um, you might want a hard flat over here on the right, but I wouldn't be too concerned about running back wheel routes this year. And then bench, uh, bench is another concept that I wanted to hit on. So again, this idea of just streaking the short side, uh, to make it a clear out route and then the corner routes are a little different. What I like about this is this vert hook will basically match um, that corner out to Carmichael. And then it's also going to be bracketed with that cloud flat over there on that left side. Now they can run a couple different setups, right? It just kind of depends on what they want to do. One of the things they could do is just this basic in route, but that three rec should hang with that. And then you'll see right there, like that corner route, there's really not a, there's not a great window to be able to throw that in. And so it's just the idea of like utilizing these vertical hooks to really slow down this tight offset tight end. Uh, I'm really enjoying this defense. Again, it's super simple. All I'm doing is putting a vert hook on the left side um to help match and then now i have a lot of versatility in terms of what i can do with this uh with this defender over here on uh, uh ted hendrick so another concept that you're going to see people run if they're in saints is they will run some variation uh of this play right here this is a really good setup it's really hard to defend but if you think about this okay for just a second uh if you just look at the routes on the field you've got a lot of help in terms of how your zones are going to play and so the main route they're gonna to wanna to throw is this one. Notice that that outside third is kind of gonna be in no man's land to a degree. Um, and so if we just look at the replay here for the route combo, what you'll notice is this guy's gonna clear out that middle third defender, this uh, tight end, he's gonna clear that out. So they're gonna to try to throw this ball into this area right here. Now, the other thing is you have a corner route, right? This corner route is gonna be bracketed pretty well by the cloud in the third. So you don't have a lot to worry about in terms of that. So really the main progression is how do you stop this slant and then how do you stop this backside kind of like post type route. And there's a couple of different ways to do it, but honestly um, a really simple way to do it would be to um, essentially come down into something like this right here. And then instead of having this defender on the third, we are gonna have this uh, middle linebacker on the third, and then we're just gonna take this defender and put him into a, uh, a hook curl. So we're gonna get rid of the three rec, have this guy in like a hook curl or something, uh, just something over the middle, right? Uh, if you wanted to, you could put him on a purple, and then you could, you could blitz uh, four, you could send four, 
right if you wanted to do that or you could have two vertical hooks with this this setup right here the reason i like these vert hooks is they will do a pretty decent job at defending the slant for a long enough period of time so that then you can go to other stuff uh, in terms of your user responsibility so again i'm two equal in here and what you'll see is i'm just going to use this slant and then I'm gonna kind of work back, but notice you see there, that is a little bit more tight of a window uh, that they have to throw that ball into the middle of the field. So all in all, like that's probably the one play that they really have. Um, but if you think about it, like you're gonna be okay if that's all they're throwing, because what you can do is, again, you can vert hook here, maybe hard flat this guy and kind of invert your shell over there on that left side. And now the slant route, you really don't wanna to have to manually guard a slant. If you don't have to manually guard a slant, this play is not that great. So what you wanna do is you wanna carry the slant uh, into the middle of the field. So you see, I'm maybe I'm usering, for example, uh, I'm usering over here on the three rack. I see, okay, he's got a slant there. I'm gonna go work back over here and now I'm using that uh, that skinny post. So this is one of my favorite ways to defend the tight. I just wanted to mainly highlight the vertical hooks and how you can use those to really bracket uh, the corner routes in this formation. So thanks for watching the video. If you wanna get my entire dollar three, two defensive ebook, we teach you how to run this defense against literally everything that you're gonna see. And I do believe this is the best defense in the game right now. So make sure to sign up for the Patreon to get all the updates. Uh, you get access to all the ebooks and all of the updates to those ebooks, which we've dropped a ton of uh, recently. And again, it's only 10 bucks. So if you wanna sign up for that, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.